example of an air intake on a motorcycle side. And here we can see the images as we have as a background. And in ALAS, they are quite strong. So we will bring down uh, the intensity here by going into the control panel. And we just go down and change the transparency of the canvases. And that makes it a lot easier. So let's try to make curves that are following the edge of the air intake. I'll turn off the shading and go for a flat view. We might bring back the image a little bit. So I go back and tweak the transparency here. Actually, it was good to have it almost completely non-transparent. Uh, we could, of course, have changed the images in Photoshop before, but uh, let's do this now. I go for a curve, and I just use a, a simple default CV curve for this purpose. So I'm trying to trace the outline with a little bit of offset here, so we have some space for the, the surface to curve down. And in this starting point here, uh, I'm going a little bit too far by purpose, and then we need a little bit more of CVs in this region. And let's see if we could change the number of CVs later on, but let's start with this. And as al always in Alias, we need to go back here and tweak the settings here. And at, at this point, I think we adjust the transparency here, so it's easy to work with the curves. Look at the CVs, look at the flow of the CVs, start to move them so you get a nice curve here. And then I realized that we have an edit point there. And if you look at the control panel, we have a three degree curve. Uh, if we turn on, this is an important curve, so turn on the curvature fence and let's have a look at that. So I go for locators and turn on the curvature fence or curve curvature tool and when we activate that we could use middle mouse to have more measuring points left to scale up and down a little bit and here we can see that there is some quite quick changes here and it's exactly where we have the edit point uh, so and that is of course because this is a four span curve let's change the degree of of this default curve and let's go for a five degree and then we bring down the number of spans so maybe we could just do this with two spans so uh, right now the curve here the plot is much better the CV layout is completely crazy so let's accept this and go for some adjustments so I ask go for pick CV and then I go for move and then we are in the move command and we don't, we, we could directly choose another CV and bring them together, something like that. And let's have that approximately there. So we, we'll go back and forth here until we have the look and feel that we would like to have. So, and I'm of course also looking at the flow of the hull. So these straight lines here, it's preferable if the angle between these here are almost the same and the distance here okay and then a little bit longer longer and then a shorter distance here so they are working together to pull the uh, curve closer to each other and I believe we're getting closer and closer and uh, we could keep on doing this forever but to be able to do this air intake in a simple way uh, we we might try to have quite smooth and nice curves so uh, a little bit of work is good and we could also check that we don't have an inflection point which means that this curvature plot is going on the underside and we, we can't have that because we have no CVs on the inside so this looks good I'm happy with that curve um, we have a little bit of offset. We could have been a little bit further out. Shift click, and then you could move two CVs in a go. So let's do the same thing here. Shift click, and then 
we could adjust this. So we have a little bit of space here uh, if you compare to the image. Okay, good. So let's do another curve. But this time I will actually borrow this one. So I go for pick nothing and pick this curve and do the classic Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And now we have two curves on top of each other. So we could scale this second one here. And we could also have moved the pivot point first. So if I undo this and go for move pivot point, don't touch the pivot point, it's already active. Just bring it down. So I hold down right mouse key and, and position it somewhere around here. Maybe we could go approximately in between those there. Now, if we go for a non-proportional scale, we have the possibility here to, to scale this very freely. And now we could try to match the inside, the smaller area here with a little bit of offset again. So maybe even thinner. And yeah, something like that. And we could bring it up a little bit. So I choose move and move it up. Okay. So now we have, I believe, enough space. We need quite a lot of space here to do this wrapping to the smaller intake area. But let's go with this. And of course, this looks almost the same as the parent curve. Okay, happy with that. Let's turn off the locators. And we need a curve here that will kind of end uh, or start the air intake. And if it's possible to use the main surface kind of mathematic, uh, then we try to do that. So in this case, there is no isoparms to use here, but we could use the patch precision possibilities. I go for object edit and go for patch precision, hold down left mouse key and just drag until I get a line approximately where I would like to have it. So if we could follow this pattern here on the surface, then we have like a nice mathematical start, starting point. And of course, if the design uh, needs something else, then we project a curve. But in this case, I will, I will borrow this patch precision line. And to make it into a curve on surface, we need to go for the Curve Edit Rebuild tool. So by clicking on this tool here, I could flip this patch precision curve into a carbon surface. And because it's alias, we got a button down there. It has a black frame around it, so we could actually use spacebar. It's, it's kind of telling us if we push spacebar, it will happen or we could just click, left click. So we got a curve on surface. So right now we have one curve on surface on, on this surface, but these two curves that we made earlier are still in the middle. So let's project those onto the surface. And the images here, though, those could be turned off by turning off the image layer, but you could also use the show and turn off the show canvas planes, which is a global uh, thing. So it's not just for one layer, but all layers. Pick nothing and let's uh, go for uh, this surface and let's have some projection from those curves. So I go for surface and project. And in this case, I would like to be in a perspective view here. Uh, because then we could actually see it happening. So we need to figure out what direction we would like to go here. And if we look at the screen, we see Y, the green one. So I go for Y direction. Look at the prompt line. It says that we need to choose some curves. So we, we could take those curves and we could project down in the corner. We have a button. And then it says, OK, what kind of surfaces should this go on? And we could, we could choose more surfaces. In this case, I had the surface already picked. And you could see that we got carbon surfaces. And look at that amount of edit points there. So, OK. That's how it is with, with carbon surfaces. Uh, the original parents uh, could be hidden. So let's pick these curves. I like to clean up a little bit uh, on the screen. So we have a hidden curve layer. So if I assign those will be hidden automatically. 
So right now we have made some regions here that we could use for the next step. And the next ste step I'm thinking about is to make a tiny little surface. Uh, actually, I realize now that I didn't need to have the inner carbon surface here. So let's just clean it away. So I go for pick curves. No, this is a special curve. It is a curve on a surface. So I choose that one and say goodbye to that. So now we could actually make a trim here and make a big hole here very, very easily. So let's do that. I go for trim and then I choose the surface and then it would like to have a region to do something with. So we could, we could leave a cross here. We could also move the cross if you would like to readjust it. We could also have several crosses and, and you could have it in more places. But in this case, I would like to discard this area here. So plenty, plenty of crosses there now. <laughs> we go for discard. So down in the corner, we tell it to hide this area here. So now we have a big hole. We could turn on some shading.